The next river cruise stop will be the town of Slavonski Brod. The modern passenger pier in Slavonski Brod should be completed by the end of the year, and as part of the project, an old ship will be renovated to house a restaurant, meeting hall, educational hall, and souvenir shop. The ship will be anchored on the new pier as one of the biggest attractions. This beautiful city is located on the northern bank of the Sava River, on the border with Bosnia and Herzegovina. During the Roman Empire, the city was called Marsonia. And from 1244 to 1945, Brodna Savi. Traces dating back to Roman times show that there has always been a river crossing here, which is why Brod is sometimes called the Northern Gate to Bosnia. The heart of the city and the favorite meeting place of locals is Corzo. A spacious promenade with restaurants, cafes and a hotel. This is also the main square. With an area of 10,500 square meters, it is one of the largest squares in Croatia and the center of meeting and socializing for many residents. In winter, thanks to the ice rink and Christmas decorations, the square turns into a true Advent fairy tale. In 1694, a wooden Franciscan monastery was built, which served the needs of the communal religious life. The Franciscan monastery, still well preserved to this day, is one of the most striking Baroque buildings in Slavonia. Its cloister is the most representative example of monastic architecture in northern Croatia. It is a landmark of the highest rank. If you visit Slavonski Brod, you must take the five-minute walk from the main square to the Brod Fortress. The construction of the fortress began in 1715 and lasted for the next 60 years. The fortress was designed to accommodate 5,000 soldiers, although it rarely housed more than 2,000. Huge moats, bastions, curtain walls, hornwork, a cavalier, and accompanying buildings spread over an area of two square kilometers, which made the fortress much larger than the city of Brod, which was situated to the east of the fortress. The fortress was completely autonomous because it warehoused enough supplies in the event of a 45-day siege. The fortress was never attacked, nor did soldiers from the fortress ever launch an attack on neighboring Bosnia and the Ottoman Empire. It served as a deterrent. Kayaking enthusiasts will be interested to know that in July 2023, the European Kayak Marathon Championship will be held in Slavonski Brod. Hrvatska turistička zajednica je ove godine odlučila dati značajniji naglasak na promociji riječnog kruzinga koji također spada u jedan dio zapravo promocije nautike u cijelosti kad govorimo o hrvatskom nautičkom turizmu. Naime, Hrvatska turistička zajednica je sa pet slavonskih županija dogovorila dodatne promotivne aktivnosti u sedam riječnih luka koje ove godine također bilježe izvrsne turističke rezultate s obzirom na povećanje broja dolazaka riječnih kruzera u te naše najveće riječne luke. To je još jedan dodatni vid promocije gdje ćemo i kontinentalni dio Hrvatske pa i kroz promociju nautičkog turizma pokušati dodatno pozicionirati i na neki način promovirati na globalnom emitivnom tržištu.